Hello, here is Chris with a short video for you and uh, in this video I will show you a solution for a problem that can appear, a small one, a small problem that can appear when you view my third episode um, of my tutorials. In my third episode, how to create a fantasy weapon for video games, I've shown you how to create own profiles for the curve tool here. The new profile in my tutorial was a cord here to be used for cords or for ropes and this cord profile was created here in this window of the splines. Now um, if you see uh, the profile you will maybe um, see that the profile is not going through the center of your control points. The profile is a little bit shifted uh, outside of the center. Um, actually, it's uh, not a very big problem, but if you like to correct this, um, I will show you how to do. Um, the reason for this problem is very easy. Um, our curve is created by several objects, and uh, these several or single objects are here, represented by this uh, profile model. And in this model, there is a center, because uh, this model is a 3D model and a mesh, and in the center of this mesh is displayed, uh, displaced um, from the scene center. And I will correct it now inside 3D code. You can uh, make the correction too in Maya or 3D Studio Max or Cinema or like the tools and Blender of course too. But I will show you how to do this in 3D code and uh, you are not uh, uh, needed or you don't need to, to move to a third party application. Okay, to, before you do this, you have to uh, start with a completely new and clean scene. Um, the reason for this is um, free decode uh, remembers changes of uh, import and export objects. So what I mean is, free decode remembers the coordinates for this object. So if you change the coordinates in the system or in your scene, then maybe there could some problems appear. So before you create or before you correct your profile you should start with the assistant window with a completely new and clean scene. When you start you click on perform retopology. Now some window appears and we take the window import retopo mesh. To now we import our profile that we have saved or exported in the third part of my tutorials. It's a cord object. Now we can very good see and uh, we can see very good that our profile is displaced um, you can see the center of my profile scene is not uh, really uh, good so the the objects or the actual object is displayed here uh, displaced here to correct this you just move to transform and now you see the move gizmo here it's uh, placed in the middle of the mesh and you have now the possibility to change the position of the whole object. To do this you just go here into the position coordinates and type O, O and again 0. OK, here we have it. Now your model is placed to the center and this is the position that we need for our curve later. That's all for this. Now you take the new uh, model and export it to the old version. I will just take the old file version here and re and uh, rewrite it or write it here. Okay, now it's saved. And now when I move to the voxels room, I can just create a new curve and the profile will be uh, refreshed. But our old profile does not know it at the moment, so it will be not refreshed here. To, to do this, you just delete the old version and make a new profile with the new version of your curve open and now we go the same way like in our uh, last tutorial and we position our object in the right uh, height to avoid the seams here and uh, 5 I think 4 5 no it just 0964 uh, 0963 oh my god Cannot. Now it's okay. Good. 
Okie dokie, and now you see this is a new profile, and when I when I uh, create a new curve and switch to my new profile, the profile is really good uh, positioned and exactly in the center, and you can use it and you can change what you need to do. Okay, this uh, was the, the small correction I wanted to show you. If you have some problems with your profiles or or other profiles that you have loaded in. Okay, that's all for today and I wish you a very nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>